Well, today we have a Saturday, and I have four calls today. I'm trying to get done so I can go home and jump in the pool. Not that I'm going to rush them. But uh, our first one is a no cool at an office of a guy that I do a lot of his rental houses. So we're going to check out that one first in the land of Goodman. This one right here is one we installed last summer. A two ton GSD 13024 R410A. This is our one for today. Good one from yesteryear. I think from the mid late 90s or so. So we're going to open her up and see what's going on inside there. See if we can't figure this one out. Well, I opened her up here, and the first thing you can see is that that cap is blown. Uh, dual run cap. Who knows what size that is? Uh, that's covered in rust. So we're probably looking at 30 slash 5 or 35 5. It's hard to tell. But uh, it's going to be one of those two. Uh, I had just replaced the defrost board over the winter. It was keeping the unit in defrost all the time. And that uh, fan motor up top is smoking hot where it's trying to start. So maybe it's an issue where the fan motor is on the way out and it popped the cap. Uh, could be. We're going to replace that cap. Probably with a 30 slash 5 and see what's going on. Yeah, and see if that didn't solve the problem. I removed the old cap. You can see it's popped. Got the new one in there, restrapped it in there. I'm gonna give the fan motor a few minutes to cool down a little bit since it was trying to start that whole time. Uh, and if it is the culprit, I can replace it. But uh, I'm gonna give it a second to chill out a second before we start her back up again, turn the power back onto it. And the buzzing you hear is the contactor coil. The low voltage is energized to it. And that's the buzzing you hear. And, uh, all right. All right, our fan motor proved that it was not, in fact, good any longer, and it's probably what killed this capacitor. So what we're going to do is disconnect these leads, pull the top off of here, flip it over, and put the new motor on. Take this off the fan terminal and the dual run capacitor. Uh, we take this wire off here, the defrost board where it comes in and that relay right there is the one that cuts it off for defrost and then the next one comes off the contactor opposite side is run and there we go we take those off we pull them back out we'll flip this thing over and blade pull that bad boy off all right we got our blade puller out what I'm gonna do is uh, hook these set screws up and then slowly tighten this down so it pulls it off the shaft of the motor because it's, uh, it's probably original. See, it's looking pretty rough. Got pretty hot down there. So, uh, go ahead and do that. We get our new motor on there and get it going. Well, I put my motor, I took my motor off, and there it is. But unfortunately, my uh, multi horsepower motors don't cover this particular horsepower at this RPM. So, I have to go pick one up at Johnstone. So, Saturday, good thing Johnstone's open. Head over there and get the right one and come back. All right, what we have here is a Goodman CPKE 18 slash 1B, which I do believe is a 10 seer heat pump. Uh, see the reversing valve right here, input and different discharges, capillary tubes going to the outdoor coil, uh, piston device inside here, uh, reciprocating compressor from Bristol. And what we have here is I was putting the new fan motor on over there and what I found was that we have a leak right here. Uh, it was a crimp off tube that had rubbed up against right here in this base area. Actually caused a leak and I saw some of the oil and I actually saw a couple bubbles in the oil. Uh, so I knew it was leaking. Uh, the pressure wasn't too low so it must have happened pretty recently. So I'm working on repairing that leak and we're going to pump some nitrogen into the unit and this has become uh, a major visit instead of a minor visit so uh, of my four calls so far I've done one in the last three hours so we're not doing too good so far but that's where we're at I'm going to make that repair and pressure test it with nitrogen and hopefully we'll be all right all right made the repair and testing it with nitrogen a little spray bubble test on a couple of little trouble spots that at the end of the cap tubes there see if anything's leaking didn't look like it we got 150 pounds on it. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. We can uh, pull the vacuum and start recharging this thing. Get it back into business. 
All right, we charged her back up and she's running. High pressure though. Not on that side because I took that gauge port off. But uh, it's 95 inside. 95 outside, but she's going. It'll take a while though. Kept this sucker going for a little bit longer anyway.